Hello, welcome to another episode. Sure. Um, start we stuffed up. You stuffed up. I'm saying we. You're on the control desk. Because you're the one putting out the phones. You were on. Anyway, we stuffed up, ladies and gents. Um, one of the cameras was running, my one wasn't. So you're going to be seeing Stats' lovely head the entire time. Because it's a dream. I am in the video. Like, sorry, I am in the podcast, but like, you're just not going to see my head. It's a blessing. Yeah. So um, enjoy the episode. Peeps, how are we? Welcome to a new episode of Have a Chat with Rain Stat. I have insane regret doing that, as their FYI. Insane <laughs> regret. Why? Just because you're doing something? I hate the music. Uh, come on, bro. The, music. the music's good. Nah, I hate it. The hate music it. is good. Hate it. Hate it. How are we, mate? I'm um, good, man. How you doing? Yeah, good, bro. Bro, good, we're, swap- good. we're switching it up tonight. Yeah, your idea. Yeah. I was really looking forward to lying down. <laughs> I know you were. Look so looking forward to it. <laughs> I thought, you know what? To get more of a vibe out of stat, i got to get him off this couch. It's too comfortable. I'm not, I'm not happy. I can't hear a thing for some reason. From me? Uh, no, from me. Can you, you hear me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Then maybe I'm just right. All right. Lovely. Yeah. It's all right. I'll still make myself comfortable anyway, bro. Yeah, that's it, bro. Do you want anything I can put my feet on? Uh, there's that little thing there, bro. No, no. It's all right. It's all right. It's been happening. So, my bro, where were you last week? <laughs> What happened? Bro, I was working on my desk. Fell asleep like this. Just KO. Okay. How do you do that? Like, it's a gift at this point, bro. Was, How do you fall asleep? I was watching something. What were you watching? I was watching um, uh, part of a 360 episode. Okay. And so you can just fall asleep in your work chair, no issue. No problem. And it's not even a work chair. It's my dining chair. Oh, you're in the kitchen. So you fell asleep in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. No issue. No problem. Family's walking around. 45 minutes. You're gone, skis. 45 minutes. Out. Like a light. Hey, I don't know like if it's a, a light, gift hey. or if it's a problem. <laughs> Balashna. I know. Um, no, nah, I don't know. I was just KO'd. And then I was watching something and then I was just like, cool. But I don't remember falling asleep. It's unbelievable. I don't, I, ha- it's unbelievable. Head Abbey, I don't remember falling asleep. It's unbelievable, bro. Like, it's honestly, it's something I've never seen, bro. I just KO. You're, very good, you're very good at it. Oh, mate, I'm trying to get better. You're very good at it. Anyways. I, last... can, do it, I can do it at home, but I can't do it everywhere else. Really? Like, so you can't just fall asleep in any random spot? I can't. It will take me a lot longer anywhere else. But it depends on, like, the day. Yeah, mood, it depends what you're doing timing, and stuff like yeah. that, yeah. So, depends on how tired I am, really. Yeah, it's true. That's exactly what it but, is. But, like... I have such like anxiety over not um, answering people's text messages or phone calls that um, I keep my phone on. I'll wake up straight away. I freak out over it. Oh, no. If I'm out. I don't care. Yeah, no. Nah, not during the day. Really? No. Nah, I, 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 it's weird. Like, I was thinking about it today. Like, if someone rings my doorbell, I've got to do everything I can to get to that door on the ASAP. Why? I don't know. It's just a thing in me. I think my dad instilled it in me when I was a kid. Because if we didn't do things straight away, bro. No, I'm happy to take my time. Yeah, no. Happy. Like if someone's at the door and I'm in the middle of a call, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, wait up. One sec. Really? Yeah, yeah. I don't care. They can wait 24 minutes. I think I need to be more like that. But for me, bro, it's, I've got to be there straight away. What's the rush? Bro, if when we were kids and dad was like, go get me a cup of water or go get me a piece of fruit or something, like it had to happen on the ASAP. Really? There was no uh, him yelling the second time or calling out the third time. It was instant. And if you didn't hear what he wanted, you had to figure it out. So you rock up to the living room with like five different things. Hey dad, which one did you want? Stuff that. Yeah. Tell me what you want and I get it to you in due time. Sure. I, I'm not saying that as an eight-year-old. Oh yeah, because you get bashed. That's besides <laughs> the point. Now, but now, so it's just, it's embedded in me. I hate being late with a passion. And by late, that's like 10 minutes before it starts. <laughs> no, I love being I late. can't do it, man. Because every time I'm on time, it's, it always goes against me. Why? Not every time. What do you mean? I think it's situational. Okay. So for example, if I get somewhere on time, they're like, oh, like we can start in an we'll hour start or late. <laughs> Yeah. And I'm like, so, I could have come at nine o'clock. No nah, bro. If I'm running late, I get anxi- I get full anxiety. Bro, what's going to happen? What's going to go? Nah, I freak out. I could not care less. Nah, I freak out, bro. I got to be there 15 minutes minimum before. Nah. But this is coming from the guy. Who, I don't know if I've told you this story, the Chester Hill days of how early we used to rock up to church. Oh yeah, that's disgusting. So, was it 9am or 9.30? Bro, it was eight o'clock in the morning. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock in the morning. Bro, we used to so we used to set up church, right? Like set up all the chairs for the 
Bro, where are these mozzies coming from? Because that's about three I've seen. That's ridiculous. Anyway, so we rock up to church. Say, uh, so we'd set up the church, set up the auditorium, the the other kids' classrooms, everything like that. So we had the keys to the hall, and you know, pastor said, "Rock up a little bit early, set up the chairs. You're good to go." And he said, "Also, the older boy, the young boys, were more than happy to help you out." All right, at nine thirty, half an hour before an hour before the service starts, right? Dad, he's got something in his brain where he has to be early every single place he's at. So we would leave the house at about 7 a.m. Now, we lived in Campbelltown, so it's a 45-minute drive to Chester Hill. He'd be banging down our doors at 6.30, hurry up, get in the car, what are we waiting for? Like, losing it. We'd rock up to church or to Chester Hill Community Center, and we'd sit in the car and wait. We'd get there at like 8 a.m. And we weren't allowed to get into the building until about 9. We didn't know. He didn't know that at the start. So we'd rock up at 7. We'd be inside the building at 7.30 setting up chairs and tables and all that. And then he gets in trouble because he's like, no, nah, we're not allowed in there before like 9 o'clock. Every week. Every week. So from that point on, we'd just sit in the car. We'd sit in the car and oh, wait. Oh, for the life. That Bro. was me. We'd sit, so his consolation for it was go to the Manu shop and get a Zatar. And I'm like, a dollar fifty Zatar is really going to sort me out here. It's 7.30 in the morning. Church doesn't start for another two and a half hours. What am I going to do? Did you stay back and pack up as well? No, pack up. See, that's the thing, bro. If he had waited till 9.30, all the boys were rocking up to help out. So it had taken two seconds. So when it came to pack up, everyone would help pack up. It'd be a two minute job. That is ridiculous. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> so that that's where me. it's come from, bro. That, I cannot be late. Me, I, I promise you, I'd probably stab my dad. Bro. I'd it, probably stab him. It took me a solid year and a half before I worked up the courage to say something to him. Bro, seven, if someone banged the door down at 6.30, <laughs> I would stab him. I promise you I'd stab him. Bro, it, it was the worst. And then I remember one, like when I finally got the courage to talk to him about it. Banged down the door, lost his mind that morning, right? We're going to be late. This day, you know how parents are. Anyway, we get to church and we're sitting in the car. I remember sitting in the back seat, like just livid. It's me at like, what am I? 12. What? All right, now what, dad? He goes, excuse me. I go, we're here. We can't do anything. Now what? He just sat there and he just, all right. And then I got bashed later on, but that's besides the point worth it yeah yeah it was for that did it change after that no (laughs) not for a second oh my goodness he's bro we rocked jordan and i rocked up to slam one morning and we were early we were like half an hour early to the maccas bro we see this guy sitting there it's my dad i go bro how long you been here for he goes oh hour hour and a half (laughs) what are you doing and we're there early as it is so like we're there at six o'clock in the morning (laughs) he's been there since 5 a.m no 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 no. that's that's not good bro the guy he's just an early bird bro he loves being early everywhere he's at no no i hate it i hate it i can't think anything worse why why do you have to be an hour and a half two hours early that's that's listen me i like being half an hour early okay that's that's fine but yeah, half an hour was uh, fine. Two hours, nah, it was two no, hours, two and a half hours. Hour, two and a half hours, bro. It's no good, bro. It's gone to the point where I'm invited to someone's house for dinner, and I will park in a side street because I'm too early. I've done that once. I do that all the time. I was ten minutes early. Wow. Yeah. See, I end up being like, 20. and I was very angry for being ten minutes early. See, I end up being like twenty half an hour early. And I used to sit outside the, the the house and just wait in the car. But then one time, I forget whose house it was, they saw me in the car and they're like, what are you sitting out there for? Come in. And so I was like, okay, I can't do that anymore. So I started parking in side streets. I would just... Because I thought about parking on the main road, like on their street, whatever. But then <laughs> one time they drove past me because they were getting home. And they're like, are you on my street? No way. So... Now I'm strategic about it and I go and park in side streets. I am mentally challenged. Yeah, that's nothing to do with that. But no, no. Once I was 15 minutes early mm. and I said, this is going to be the longest 10 minutes of my life. I was so, <laughs> I was livid. So how early is too early, you reckon? Like you're getting invited to someone's house. Yeah. Are you allowed to knock on the door 10 minutes before you're meant to be there? Or is that too early? I think it's too early. 
Because I feel like it's changed over the past five minutes. Years. Five minutes is plausible. Five minutes? Okay, yeah. I think if you're in that five-minute window... It has to be a five-minute like window. Like, you're meant to be there 7.30, but it's 7.26. They'll let it slide. Yeah, yeah. But if I'm walking up 7.15... Yeah. They're no, like, all right, this no guy's good. a bit of an eager beaver. Yeah, yeah, Tell it's them so good. Down. Nah. It's like, no way. I would never... See, everything goes through my head. That's my problem. Like, if someone lives 15 minutes away, I'll leave 25 minutes before, 30 minutes before, or if there's a car accident. What if I need to fill up petrol? What if something goes wrong? No, I think that's a challenge for me. <laughs> you try to get as close to it as possible? Yeah, that's why I'm always late. <laughs> what? You're trying to challenge yourself? No, nah, because I think to myself, oh, okay, so if it's banks down, okay, cool, 10 minutes. But I forget I'm a slow driver. I forget yeah. I stop at every red light. And you take the longest routes in the world. Of course. So I always go, no, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. All right, I'll be good, 10 minutes. And it always takes me 15. Do you think everywhere's 10 minutes? I'm convinced nothing is far. Yeah. I'm convinced if I'm driving somewhere, it's not far. For example, Castle Hill, not far. Half an hour, that's no problem. That's a 40 minute drive, champ. I'd get there in half an hour. No chance. Yep. You're the slowest driver I know. There is no chance of getting there in half an hour. So I'm going 130 on there. By the way, do you have all your points? Oops. You don't? How Oops. many you got? Two left. Really? Yep. Did you get fined that much, bro? I just got most of mine back. I've got th- four more coming in next month. So I got four back mm-hmm. a couple months ago, and then a week later, I lost five. How? So the four that I lost were for my mum. Yeah. Because, you know, she had just gotten a license at the time. Ah, uh, okay. So and you she's like, out. oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. I can't lose Because that was when they had the wheel change. Yeah, I yeah, can't yeah, lose yeah. my license. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'll take your points. I go, but the second you get your fool's mag, I'm coming <laughs> for you. She got a fool's like about a month ago. And I said to her, I go, I am coming for you. Hard. I got four points. Eight. Hey, you want me? She goes, all right, that's fine. So I took four points for her and I got done five on my phone. Oh, uh, the phone one's crazy, bro. Then I got done a speeding one, 5Ks over. Bro, you know on my street, there is always a um unmarked, uh, what do you call it? Donkey. Speed camera. Big. Oh, nah, speed, speed camera. camera, bro. Mate, I can't, it's a 50 zone. Mm. I keep thinking it's a, it's a 60. So, I think bro. I think everywhere is 10Ks over the what it actually is. Yeah, I've noticed that with myself too. I thought this was a 60 zone. I'm like, brilliant. Driving down 60Ks, I see this, I um, no. Still haven't gotten done from it. Uh, as in are the mobile ones on the yeah, side? Yeah, yeah. Always park there, bro. So I'm convinced he Did might- you get done for those? Uh, I've gotten done once. From that? Yeah, not this one. No, no, but as in, I've done 25 over once accidentally. On really? One of those. Yeah. Well, that's what's happened to me now. So I'm convinced the guy probably just lives at that house and he parks the car out front. Maybe. So I don't know. But yeah, I- I'm done with uh, tickets, bro. How many points you have? Right now I've got seven. So I'm in a good spot. I get four more and when? then I got two. When do you get the four more? In July month. And then next July, I get my last two back. I think I get a few points in two years on. It's crazy. It's three and a half years. But I don't I don't understand why why it's three years, four months. Why, why am I waiting 20, uh, no no, 40 idea. months? And, and in today's like cases, <laughs> it's so easy to lose points. There's cameras everywhere, bro. Can't breathe. Do you hear about the? I think um, some eastern suburbs and northern suburbs are taking down their um, residential driving uh, speed limit to forty. It's, it's going down to forty from fifty. You believe that? Like fifty is not slow enough. That's dumb. It should be. It's rubbish. Ninety. <laughs> everywhere should be minimum. Everywhere, honest about that. All seriousness, everywhere should be minimum sixty. Yeah, hundred percent. I think fifty is way too slow. Fifty is way too slow. I think the school zone thing's fine. No, like, no, I disagree. Depending where the school is, though, if that school's on the main road, bro, like what kid is walking in the middle of the Hume Highway? Yeah, agreed. Over Has six be... lanes. I'll, I'll double the speed limit. Like, bro, residential, fair enough. Put it down to forty. Keep those kids safe. You all right? Yeah, yeah. Need a tissue? <laughs> yeah, I need like fifty. I'll nah, be alright. Send it. Cheers. Um. Yeah, but bro, these main highway schools it's like bro what are we doing doing 40 k's it's a joke i hate it why why would they change it safety in that from what i read on the articles from the daily telegraph i think they said um it's for the safety of their residents this they're noting that their residents are not driving 50 k's so yeah let's drop it down to 40 because i've seen about 40 man these things are the worst they're just idiots yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. That's what they're Eastern doing. Eastern suburbs. It's just, it's just, it's, no, but these, here's my problem. Do whatever you want in the Eastern suburbs, but they'll bring it over here. 
They'll bring it here, bro, and then we're stuffed. And then no one will listen. Cause then they'll just bring out more cameras, and um, we'll just get fun. Do right. so cool. you see the new camera down at Bankstown? That's still not open yet. The one next to the Maccas? Yeah. Bro, they put that up like two months ago. It's still not... It's still not Where uncovered. They, they've got one. Regent's Park. No. I think they put a new one in Regent's Park. I think as you're heading towards... Um, yes, yes, they did. Guildford? I know exactly what you're talking about. It's, yeah. a, main, it's a main strip as in oh. the, and Woodward Road's at the top. Bro, but you there's too the many of them. Stage. There's yeah. too many of them. It's got to stop. There's on... Um, Hume Highway. Yeah. Hume, yeah, Hume Highway. As you're heading towards Liverpool, Harry's. Yeah. There's two right after each other. That's, it's no good, bro. But there was one in Lakemba they got rid of recently. It was 40. That strip was 40 anyway, and they chucked the camera there. That's... Uh, Diggy, who's going to get done there? If it's 40 anyway, like, regardless you know, of school zones... You know zones, where I nearly got done was in Liverpool. They have a 30 zone. They all have a 30, a 30 zone. zone. Where? Next to the hospital. Like... When you're going through the kebab shops and Subway and all that stuff, there's a 30 zone there, bro. I'm like, how do you stay down to 30 Ks? Do you know when you go into parking lots and there's like... 10, 10? 5. I'm doing 25. Yeah, yeah, easy. 15, 20, 25. Yeah, easy. Ah, government's a joke. Government's so bad. a joke. It's weird. I'm literally, every time I get in the car, I'm living on a prayer. Hundred percent. Especially when I got two points. You just never know when your next fine's coming. No idea. I am so happy I have a buffer right now. Yeah. They get done on your phone. And, that, and that's the thing. Like, if it was me driving stupidly, fair enough. Give me all the points I deserve. Like, all right. If I'm speeding and all that sort of stuff, like when I was younger. All right. No worries. But I'm getting fined for parking in driveways. Especially when it's your own. When you're parking your own driveway and you get two points taken off, yeah? Yeah, it's about the it, Two points. It's not fun. <laughs> you Just, fought that, didn't you? I did. And I lost. Based on what? So when I lived in Greenacre... For all the people that know, don't know, I parked in my driveway. Now, that street is heavy traffic during school zones because it's like four schools on on um, <laughs> Mimosa Road. Yeah. So I rock up to my house. There's some random parked in my carport. So I go, there's nowhere else to park. I'm gonna park <laughs> right. I'll park right behind him until he knocks on my door. So I go in, park right behind him, go up, whatever. I get fined. I go, all right, I'm fighting this. It's 150 bucks and two points. I go, I'm fighting this thing. It's a joke. So I go to the Bankstown court, sit the whole day. Finally, it's my turn. Hey, your honor, this, that. She goes, you know, it's not legal to park in your driveway like that. I go, honestly, I didn't. I didn't know that because I was on the council strip. I go, I did not know at all, but that's ignorance. Like that's on me. She goes, okay, so what's your argument here? I go, well, honestly, your honor, this is my car. This is my driveway. She goes, yeah. I go, that car that's parked in front of me in that photo. She goes, yeah. I go, I don't know who that is. She goes, what do you mean? I go, that's just some random. She goes, so random people park in your driveway? I go, exactly. I go, so I had no other choice to park safely because I couldn't park for like another K down the road. And there was nowhere else. It's your home. And it's my home. Like, I didn't know what else to do. She goes, well, you can't do that, mate. I go, okay, but that's not like, I don't know this person. It's not like it's my cousin coming over. I don't know who it is. She goes, uh, okay, listen, I'm going to take $50 off. Oh, beautiful. $50 off the fine, but you're keeping the point. I go, can I please get the points taken off? She goes, no. Nah. <laughs> I go, all right, no worries. <laughs> Thank you. Just, uh, wasted my day. Absolutely wasted my Go 50 bucks off. Yeah, but the court fine, the court, the court fee to go to court is 75 bucks. I paid, I paid $25 more than my fine because of the court fee. So I ended up wasting everyone's time and paying more than the fine was. How long was the, the new? They're like five minutes, eh? They're like five minutes, but you wait there all day. You go from courtroom to courtroom so they can finally see you. Who is that? Plane. Probably. That is ridiculous. Yeah. It's a joke. <coughs> Sucked in. So that's my life, bro. That's my huzz. It's no good. Bro, the amount of times I've parked on footpaths. And you don't get done whatsoever. It does I got, my I got head done in. once. Does my head in? I got done once parking on a footpath on a Sunday, and they told me it was a school zone. Now the footpath I parked on was outside church. That's not a school zone. Exactly on a Sunday. <laughs> Sorry, on a Sunday. So I got done. 
I got done on a Sunday. Oh, no. So you got done for parking in the school zone on parking a Sunday? Parking on a footpath on a Sunday in the school zone. Okay. So at the time you could call, there was a number you could call and have yeah. like the discussion. How long ago was this? Oh, three years ago. Okay. Two, three years ago. Probably even longer. So I call up. Hey, how are you going? Okay, uh, look, just, and you know how they're just rude, like, they're, they're just, they're, they're, their job is designed for them to be, like, they're probably the nicest people, but in that role, they have to be a prick. Yeah, 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 they're, they're never so nice. So they have to be a they're grumper. never nice. Nah. So I go, all right, G'day, Aya, Aussie lady, you just know, nothing's gonna budge. I said, all right. I go, look, just wanted to discuss this. She goes, yeah. I said, so I go, look, I go, no problem. Parked on the footpath. She goes, so why are you calling? Are you going to let me get there or are you going to let me just play with you a little bit? <laughs> I said, I parked on the footpath. No problem. I go, but I parked there on a Sunday. She goes, okay. I go, I got done for being in the school zone. So I thought I have a couple of jokes up my sleeve. I go, look, unless it's Sunday school. I got done for parking in the Sunday school zone. And then she goes, what's that supposed to mean? Did she appreciate that joke? No, she goes, what's that supposed to mean? I go, church, when you're a kid, you go to Sunday school. No, you haven't been to church. Okay, fine. I go, good talk. Anyway, I go. So you use that as, an, as a way to lead her to the Lord and give her a conversation, right? No, I want to get out of this stupid fine that she got me on a Sunday. So I said to her, I go, listen, I go, it's a little bit impossible. She goes, it wasn't a Sunday. <laughs> I go, look, love, do you need to sit here and go back and forth? I have the date in front of me and I have the time. First off, the time was 10.38. I go, so it's impossible to for it to be a school zone. She goes, all right, so she sees the time. She goes, yeah, it is 10.30. Yeah? She goes, it's a bit weird. I said, okay, but that's not, I didn't care about that. I go, but the weird fact is I got done on a school zone. She goes, what was the date? I said, oh, I was probably 28th or something, whatever. She goes, all right. So she looks at it. She goes, yeah, no, nah, it's fine. Everything's set. And then she just stops. And she goes, okay, look, yeah, I see your point. And I said, all right. It's <laughs> the first time anyone's ever won. Yeah, she goes, all right, don't worry about it. And I thought, no, that's not good enough. I go, no, nah, no. Nah. I go, look, but I still parked the footpath. What she mean? Don't worry about it. Though. She was like, don't pay the fine. I'll wipe it off. There was no points involved. It was just a fine. Uh, okay. So she goes, don't worry about the fine. I'll you know raise that it. that makes no sense though because when you park in the school zone, you get automatically fined points. This is all weird. Are you sure this was from the government? It wasn't some scam? Well, if it was a scam, I would have fallen for it. I would have paid it. That's a good point. No, my track record. But I said, I go, look, I go... That's fine. I go, but, you know, being, because I was at the church or whatever, I thought I'd pay off the Christian approach. I go, look, I still parked on the footpath. Okay, there's no denying that. I go, I'm not denying the fact that I parked on the footpath. I'm denying the fact that I parked on the school so zone. Now you're asking for a fine. She goes, okay. She goes, but she goes, but continuing I was rude to you earlier. She goes, don't worry about it. How does she have that power? I was there. I go, thanks, love. You have a great day. <laughs> Boom, hung up. Get out of there. It's Loved it. Possible. It was so good. That's hilarious. Imagine getting done on a Sunday in a school zone. And there's no school zones on a Sunday. But I said, because I had to explain to her, I go, I work, I go, I work in Miranda, mm. Monday to Friday. Mm. I go, how is it possible for me to park there during the week on a footpath? I go, the church has a car park. I go, I, need, a to, I go, I need to park on the footpath. That is a great point. I go, there for the Sunday. She goes, why are you parked on the footpath? I go, I was late to church. <laughs> go. So you're not just getting told off that by your, your church leaders for rocking up late. Nah. It's some random Man, chick on the floor. I go, like, why did you park on the footpath? <laughs> I go, I was running late. And she laughed. She goes, oh, okay. After like, we kind of suited up, I go, yeah, I love, take care, bye. And got what I wanted. Yeah, I got out of it. Brilliant. Mm. That's good. Yeah. But do, have you noticed when you get fined mm -hmm. or some of the fines that you cop, there's always a crazy story behind it? Every time. The 5.1 is, it blows my blood. Why? It blows my blood. So... <laughs> I actually haven't heard this one. So I got a call from my cousin and he goes, bro, listen, he goes, oh, long story. I think his parents were away and someone needed to, he's got chickens and we had to feed the chickens. Mm. See what I mean? How already like it starts off ludicrous. Sorry. Sorry. Feed the chickens. Yep. Okay. So they hadn't been filled all day apparently. All right. I want to ask more questions about the chickens, but okay. why does he have chickens? Can't answer that for you. Where does he live? Milpera. So a bloke in Milpera owns chickens? Yep. Does he take its eggs? Yeah. Oh, so they have eggs in the backyard? There's four of them. Is it hard to raise chickens? I'm not a cousin. I feel like it would be either very stinky oh, or very annoying. Stinks. Stinks? Stinks like hell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's disgusting. Because they'd just be, you know, crapping all over the place. Yep. Wouldn't they? That's right. Anyway. So are they fenced off? Yeah. Does he have like a full pen for him? 
How many chickens are we talking here? I said four. Oh, four. Hmm. What do you think you have? Like a bloody colony of them? I don't know. I'm just saying that I think you can do a whole reproduction system where you can eat a chicken a year. Probably. Anyway. Back to the story. So he's got chickens. Needs to feed the chickens. Yeah, so I was like, all right. And then my cousin goes, something about the keys that were given to my dad who was going to go feed the chickens didn't have the right keys or so something. So your dad's got the task with the job of feeding yeah. the chickens. Yeah, so it's like, but it doesn't have the key to open the door to get in. So I said, all right. So my cousin goes, we have to go through the back window. I said, why? He goes, because the food's inside and the inside's locked. I said, all right. He goes, so we have to break the back window and you have to push me through. Now, look, he's not the skinniest stool in the shed. So I said, all right. Why not just go to a pet store and buy chicken feed? At 10 p.m. on a Sunday night. Uh, okay, yep, fair enough. So I said, all right. So I'm on the phone like this, losing it. Mm. Screaming at my cousin, well, what do you mean? I'm driving down to his house. Didn't know there was a mobile camera. So I go and I feed the chicken. I go and we find out that the keys I had, no problem. Just no. old lebos. <laughs> so I didn't have to go push my cousin through the back window, break any window, nothing. It was just a standard procedure. I'm old lebo. Standard yeah. There's two girls, put in the other one, you're good to go. Know what I mean? Uh-huh. Three weeks later, but then it goes, you got to find. I said, all right, let me check this out. 400 and something bucks, five points. I think it was that night, what was that night? So I went back, I think it was that night. And I got that. I called my cousin, thinking, bro, like, he's going to be spewing me. Sucked in, you idiot. Ha, ha, ha. And I go, bro, you told me to help you. <laughs> Is that sucked in? It was on you. Got done. So you got all, done. all because we didn't have, I didn't have to go do his house anyway. I had to leave power early. I was out there with the boys. I had to leave early to go with my cousin for these dumb chickens. I hope they all die. No reason. Five points. Like that. Can't argue it. That's the worst, bro. Five po- uh, My worst was 30 over. What was, how, how fast were you going? I was, psh, cousin. It was very safe. I was 70. It was a 70 zone. I was going for 70. But I'm like, oh, maybe they didn't get me. They didn't see my face. The photos on me like this. On the phone, like, right here. <laughs> and I'm like, like this. And I'm, my, my face is so angry. I was oh, like, oh, well, I can't really argue that. That's so and good. I can't say it's my dad because my dad's 70 so plus. Good. So, yeah. But I feel like any time you cop a fine, it's always a dumb. Oh, yeah. It's always something stupid. It's always a stupid story it's behind just it. d- Something dumb you did. Yeah, always. Yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah, very dumb. Very dumb. Like when I lost my license, I was just stupid. I was doing 80 and a 50. <laughs> yeah. How's that stupid? That's your fault. No, no, no. I'm saying it's my fault. Like it wasn't, I was being, I was stupid. <laughs> I was, how old was I? I think I was 20. And um, yeah, I was you know I was going down a hill, and so I just didn't bother putting the brakes on, and yeah, 80, 50. Yeah, man, that's lost my license on the spot. Parked the car on the side of the road. Eight hundred and fifty-seven bucks later. Was that in Regent's Park? No, that was um in front of the school. Uh what's You're the school? Wrong. Yes. I drove past you that yes, day. Yeah, yes, you did. that's yes. why. That's the one. Yeah, stand there talking to the cops. 80. Oh, because there wasn't that many speed humps as well back then. Yeah. <laughs> now they've got plenty of them now there's 700 now there's about four on that street alone i think there's about five is there yeah nah driving across the area two weeks ago two weeks ago no last week driving i'm thinking there's no there's usually no traffic on that strip i always use that strip even with the speed humps yeah yeah so you know the street to turn into it yeah off the traffic lot yeah, off, yeah. Dr- off, uh, off bronco road yeah yeah that's the one bronco yeah hey, that's the road bro Driving and it's like in next thing you know I'm stopped in like proper traffic. I'm like, what the heck is just the roundabout? It's usually free flowing. Car upside down in a tree. It's like all right. Like four cop cars, no three way. ambos. It's like that's very sad. You're joking. I was always running late to the business meeting. <laughs> I'm like, oh beautiful. Oh, this is two weeks car. ago. Yeah, last week. No way. Yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah, because I wasn't at church in the morning. So I had to get to the business meeting. Bro, speaking of the church, how good was the fundraiser on uh Sunday? Fundraiser was fun, bro. It was a fun day, hey. It was good, guys. Yeah, sorry. Um, very sorry, fun yeah. day, bro. Bake day. Sa- the bake sale was phenomenal. The the girls did unbelievably. Mm. Sausage sizzle was good. Yeah, everything was good. Silent auction was fun. Silent auction. People bro, put we... random names on that. We sold some leathers. Goose and I went up to everyone and said, "Listen, if you're not happy with your bid, we're chucking extra zeros." <laughs> everyone laughed. And every time I said, everyone laughed. Like, ah, yeah, it's a good joke. Whatever. Goose said it to, said it to Pfad, and he goes, "No, for <laughs> And Goose goes, oh, he's like, oh, but don't tell that joke to Pete Fire, he rip you. It's like, Pete, come here. And I told him, and he laughed. And he goes, what the hell? And you're always laughing. <laughs> it was very That's funny. That's brilliant. No, it was good. It was a good day. Da- Cuz. Bro, these cables are everywhere. Cuz, one day on one day on the desk, huh? One day not on the desk and you're absolutely shameful. I need some. Why do I? Oh, mate. 
You're a shambles. I am. You want to sit back here? No, no, I'm good. Lie down, bro. Kick back. No, I'm, I'm comfortable, bro. You're a liar. I promise you. You're a liar. I'm very comfortable right now. You're a liar. Extremely. But, but the bake sale was fantastic. Bake, bro. Did you eat anything there? No. <laughs> I had one sausage sizzle and I was running around the whole morning. That's right. Thankfully, my sister, God bless her soul, uh, bought me a pack of uh, bake sale items. She got me some brownies, some snickerdoodle cookies. Snickerdoodles are my absolute favorite. Who made the cookies? Rachel Cathcart. Fair, American. M- nah, she's never made them before. Because she came up to me, she goes, what should I make? I go, no one's made snickerdoodles yet. She goes, all right, I'll give it a shot. First try, absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, so I picked out Sunday afternoon, ate all of it. Yeah, nice. I had a Lotus Knefe. I'm not a fan of Lotus. Good. So I'm, not a fan, oh. I'm not a fan of Lotus. Bro. Shut the gate. I think, I think Lotus is overrated. I'm not the biggest fan of her, but because yeah. it was Knefe, I had to I had to give it a crack. How was it? it? Oh, bro. Who made it? Faith. Oh, she put Lotus in it. Yeah. I didn't even know this. Very thing. good. Oh. Very nice. Oh. So good. Bro, there were so many baked baked goods, man. Mm. So much stuff. Yeah, we sold uh, two heads of lettuce, one for 80 bucks, one for 100. <laughs> yes, we did. People are, people have a laugh at church, bro. They're good. Yeah, it's good. They were great. But we, we raised what? Yeah, we raised a lot more than we thought we would, thank the Lord. It was really good. Really good day. Really good setup. TNS is going to be good. What was it for? Uh, help out TNS and other programs and events at church. So um, TNS this year, we're going to, um, what's the event? Kiss My Axe. Axe throwing, yes. Um, so, yeah, we're just trying to subside some of the. You did that on purpose, you snake. Yeah, 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 you did it on purpose. <laughs> that was the only axe throwing place. I find respect for you. It was the only axe throwing place I could find in Brookvale. <laughs> Brookvale? Brookvale. <laughs> There's one in Alexandria, but they can't fit us, so they your sent mom. us to Brookvale. Oh, your mum. Yeah. It's what about. Bro, there's one in St. Peter's. Couldn't I don't know because I've been there. Couldn't fit us. How many of us are going to be axe throwing? Bro, 150 are registered ish. Register for TNS if you haven't registered yet. Yeah, guys, I'm chasing up people. That's chasing up everyone. everyone. I hate you all. Um, um, yeah. Register. Yeah, okay, that's fair. Because I was going to say, the St. Peter's one's pretty small. Yeah, yeah. So we needed to fit about 150. Odd. I love Axel Long, bro. I've read that a lot I've once. never done it. It's really I good. can't wait. It's actually really cool. I reckon get an ambulance on standby, just in case. We have on standby everywhere you go. Yeah, me with an axe. It's not going to be pretty. Yeah, it's, they, it's actually so fun, it. bro. I'm looking forward it to it. It is so fun. I can't wait. It's good. It'll be good. This weekend we've got Skelevate. I'm looking forward to that. We've got a, we've got a big month. Big. July's huge. July's going to be July ridiculous. July is massive. I'm tired of already thinking about it. But we've got Skelevate meetings all weekend. That's going to be mad. That's going to be awesome. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then next week we get a tiny bit of a break over the Bible Club thing and Epic's got their thing on that weekend. So that's a busy weekend for whoever's involved in that. The week, we, we're week in Queensland after, next week. Yeah, we're, oh, far out, I forgot about that. Yeah, we're in Queensland next week. So no episode next week. Um, Bro, busy, busy month. And then and we've the got TNS after the week TNS. after. Yeah. Then I feel like there's something after. Let me check my calendar. After TNS? I feel like there's something. Is there like a three-month holiday? No. No, we're good. No, that's it. And then August picks back up, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no. There's not much in August. Like, how good's that? Not until September. Are we busy again? <sighs> What's in September? Elevate retreat. Oh, yeah. Quality. Oh, we haven't even started chasing up that. Quality. Can't wait for that. Oh. That's going to be good. It's going to be great. Four days? Uh... Three days, but I think we're adding a fourth for fourth anyone that to come yeah. early. Okay. Yeah. yeah, sweet. It's going to be good, man. Look forward to it. A lot of good stuff happened at FPC. Keen. Very that's, keen. That's where you can find Stat, by the way. So if you haven't found me yet, you why don't you go there. say hello to him? Just If you didn't find me two weeks ago, I apologize. I just didn't walk up to you. Yeah. Um, but TNS, our, our, our theme is fit, hence this jumper. Mm. I was thinking about it. Our theme's fit, right? So we may be doing some fit challenges, this, that throughout the weekend very ironic seeing that we have a lot of unfit people mm. yeah I know me but you too I'm alright I'm at like 75% like decent guys ish we've got a lot of unfit people bro we're so, the majority we're, of the majority of church is very unfit yeah yeah we're very unfit people speak to yourself so it's, very, it's, uh, it's either very telling or very uh, ironic what do you mean by challenges I don't know. They want me to do some stuff for some of the services, things like that. So we're talking about it this weekend. Should be fun. Listen, I'm going into it with a good head. I'm excited. 
Should be fun. I'm excited. I'm actually dreading the drive to Brookvale already. Brookvale's going to be a long one, bro. I'm just thinking about it because he's going to be... Not a short drive. Bro, if I'm going to go to, if I'm going to go to Brookvale, I might as well go for the Manly game at 5.30. <laughs> you know we'll get the service that night. Yeah. My point stands. Oh, so you go to... Bro, will you make it back? Nah, that's the whole point. <laughs> that's, what that's what I'm saying, you idiot. Uh, that's nah, funny. no, no. That's very funny. But... What, so what time, do you know, because you organise the event, right? 2pm is what we're planning. So are we leaving church at 11am? We're leaving church, we're aiming to leave church 12.45 from what I'm aware of. 12.45, okay, that's better than, anything from one onwards, isn't it? That's, that's no, 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 it's terrible. The, the, it takes 50 minutes to get there with no traffic. Around that time of day, it takes another 20, 30 minutes. The carpool with everyone, eh? Yeah, of course. Everyone has to carpool. Can be a, yeah. Interesting, we've got some interesting weeks ahead. It's gonna be a long day, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's got, bro. The fact that it's condensed down to three days is very good, but it is gonna it's gonna take it out of us that week, bro. Mm. Take it out of us hard. It's be, fun. be interesting. You know what else has been interesting? Mm. What's been going on in the states? You love the states. I don't. No, you do. I really don't. Every week you talk I about the states. No, but this is why I talk about the states because what happens there ends up happening here, eventually. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why I keep track. Bro, the states revoked the whole uh, um, abortion in the Supreme Court <coughs> thing. <coughs> yep. Um, so now it's no longer a uh, federal law. It's decided by the people in the states. So now it's illegal halfway across the country to abort a kid. That's hectic. How great is that? That's hectic. That is phenomenal. Good. That's time. Absolutely brilliant. There was a concert. Was it a concert? Yeah, I think it was Glasbury. Wasn't that at Glasbury? The concert? Are you talking? Uh, I'm not no talking about another thing. I saw Ben Shapiro talking about it. Ben Shapiro the goat. Yeah. Talking about it. I think it was. Um, you mentioned two, you talking two about guys, uh, Olivia, uh, Olivia Rodrigo. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was at Glasbury, like in the UK. Oh. Yeah. Again, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I love Ben Shapiro. It's so funny because he's like, oh, they're up there and they were all um, that like they were at the crowd and they're like, oh, you know, it's her Lily Allen. Like, oh, we don't stand for the Lily Allen. She's still around. She alive? Anyway, I didn't know her name until that video because I watched that video today. Yeah, it came across came across today where he was saying how they were like, oh yeah, you know, to these people and these laws. Oh yeah, they were flipping them off, flipping and a burden, yeah, FBI and this and that. And they're like, well, uh, you guys are heroes. <laughs> he just, <laughs> he's he's just, a savage, yeah, bro. Smart, I love yeah, it. it. Doesn't care. But it's so interesting, right? <laughs> like I've always been very intrigued by the abortion debate because. People that are for abortion or pro-choice, it's such a baseless argument. Mm, yeah. Like, it's just my body, my choice sort of thing. It's like, okay, but you just, you're completely discounting the life that's in your stomach. Don't have sex. <laughs> it's not that hard. It is not that hard. Oh, yeah, but I'll do what I want. Oh, well, shut up then. Yeah, do what you want. Suffer the consequences. It was a, it, See, abortion was a way for people to say... Just FYI, suffer the consequences of you having to raise a child. Correct. And, and that yes. not yes. because you're having a kid. Yes, yes, sorry. Not that. But, like, take the responsibility that comes with it. Like, yeah. dead set. Like, come on, guys. What are we doing here? So, it's just... It's so interesting when you see these people advocating murder, bro. Like, just dead set advocating murder. And they're so passionate about it. So if you actually just took a step back and looked at it, like you'd see it's not as cut and dry as you're making it out to be. There are a lot of pathetic people in the world. There are. You know, I see I see so many people on social media, they're like, oh yeah, but it's my body, my choice. Wrap it up. Give it see, but that if you're looking at life from a worldly perspective, that does make sense, right? Because it is my body, I'll do whatever I want with it. When you don't look at your life as Christ's, and God gave you that body and you respect it the way he told you to, yeah, you'll come up with anything. They're just pathetic. It's very... It's just a circus. It's... it's the whole world is a circus. It's crazy because they just come out screaming, bro. Like, as soon as that thing was overturned, they went nuts. Bro, yeah. protesting in the streets, they went crazy over this thing. I don't understand the whole... Like, if, if the Supreme Court has made a decision, they're not going to care for 10 people that are going out on the street. Bro, it's a lot of people. I know, but I'm but, just saying, like, it's... But, no, no, like, here's the thing. This is, what, so this is what it is. 
Just let <laughs> me get to work. If I have to you're drive, right, bro. just let me get to work. Nah, what about like 10 nah, a.m.? You know what I hate? Why, why are these morons? I hate Bang on. that. What about these morons oh, that do it in that. Sydney? That's what that, 6 yes, a.m. That's what, no, no, that's what I hate. Can I just when get to something work? happens in the States, right? And then people here protest for something that happened in the States. It's got nothing to do with us, buddy. Your protesting here isn't going to help them over there. They should be protesting hours on the streets. <laughs> it's bullcrap. Between, between 10 to 4? Between 10 to 2. You protest, you hold up traffic, no problem. <laughs> they say 2 o'clock, and Mark, if I see you there, your mum, if I see you there. That's how it should be. <laughs> Why do I, if, if people, I feel, I don't, listen, I don't drive to work. I work yeah, from home. I go once a month. Correct. It's good life. But it's always that one time a month there's someone protesting. Some toss I want to take off work. They want to take off their own job to protest on the street. Because you get a 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. window. This should be like a full law. You want to protest during the week, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m.? Well, you know it's illegal to protest here. Hey? Yeah. What'd you say? We're not allowed to protest here. Oh, well, it seems to be happening <laughs> so every day. Yeah, apparently they got rid of that law for us a few years back, actually. We're not allowed to protest here. Yeah, hold up traffic. We also don't have free speech, but that's go, a good story. Go climb a bridge and threaten to jump off. Don't go hold up traffic. It's so dumb. You know what I miss? I miss the tree huggers. Like when they protest, they chain themselves to a tree. Yeah, good. So Cage because you're animals. It was so simple yes, back cage then, Cage yourselves because you're animals. The 70s were so simple, bro. I mean, we weren't there, but like, they just tie themselves to trees. They should tie themselves with the news. <laughs> That's besides the point. But yeah, bro, it's a very good start, mate. Very good. Abortion is now back at the state. So what that means, right? It's not that it's illegal. Like that's the that's the narrative they're all spreading, right? Oh, it's illegal now. We don't have control of our body. Shut up. It's not that. It's just back at the state level. So each state can now vote whether or not they want abortion to be legal in their state. But it's reverted back automatically. So as of that ruling, if it was illegal to abort a kid in that state, it's illegal. So that's brilliant. But like these people need to understand, it's now in your hands. If you really want to do it, go vote. No one cares how big of a profile you have on your social media. No, no, no one, one cares. cares. You're a laugh. You're a laugh. You are a laughing stock. We are a laughing stock. Hey, speak for yourself. To the fifty people that watch us, thank you guys. Really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah but no, they they people are overhyped for nothing. But it's uh, a season, bro. It's it, that's the thing, bro. It's a season. In two years, I won't care. In two years will be something else. Kids, bro. bro they'll revert they'll do this and that they'll find their ways around it it's just interesting because i want to know what's going to happen next like abortion was the first thing they did a couple of gun control stuff after that what's the next one the, and this is my point like you just mentioned that they they sit here and they go oh my body my choice and whatever but we can go shoot up schools like no nah, they want to get rid of guns the list entirely oh really mm. Well, because they realise after 100,000 deaths, maybe it's not a good idea. No, no, no. The left has always been about get rid of guns, get rid of guns. The conservatives don't want to keep their guns. Just keep it, but just don't go spray kids in schools. Uh, yeah, I know. Oh, no, it's, it's actually it's so just, sad. It's so sad, bro, every other day. That's a, it's that's a whole other conversation. But yeah, this abortion thing, I was so happy to hear about it, bro. Yeah, I woke up to it. Like, I didn't even know this was a thing, like it was going to happen or it was leading up I'm to it. I'm out there, the Aussies that live in America are like, oh, we're not happy. Shut up. It's you not import. your country. Shut up. It's not your country. I hate him. Come I back here. Him. Oh, bro. I don't know, bro. How are the people? I'll spit on it. For the people, bro. Mm. 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 It's good preaching. Mm. Speaking of preaching. What time? Well, how long have week? we been going for? Uh, mate, it's time to wrap it up. Let me tell you. How long has it been going for? 45. Dead set. No chance. Cuz. Go for 45. Did we go through that that quick? Quick. Mate, that, that was... We flew past that. Come on, bro. I was watching the time every like three minutes. <laughs> well, you've got to make up for last week, champ. You weren't here. Brother, I don't have to make up for anything. I'll do whatever I want. Drop chapter five. First of the week. Listen, it was all right without you, but I did miss you, bro. Everyone misses me, bro. Everyone said, oh, what happened to you this week? Why are yeah, you on the show? Everyone like, messaged me. Happy. Well, did they think we'll beefing again? No. They just said you fall asleep again? I was like, yeah, do you know? <laughs> Some dude. But I had to make a promise to a few people. That, like, I'd, I'd be here and, and like, Good. I'd try to... The people like you, Stat. Bro, everyone loves me. It's, that's that's it's, all we're debating. It, it makes Love no everyone. sense to me why they do, but they like you. Because I'm... That, listen, they like you more than me, and that's... Oh, fair. yeah, that's that's a given. I'm the that's go. Fair. That's besides the point. Yeah. Job chapter five. Mm. We'll be going through Job. So get on to the verse of the week. How are you finding it? The book of Job. Have you read it before, like, properly? No. I was about to say, I never got past Job chapter one. Okay. Because I couldn't. Why? Emotionally, I couldn't. 
Oh, you just didn't think you could do it? Emotionally, I couldn't. I it's think, a rough story, eh? I think because during the time, I was going through some really tough crap mm. and, and I couldn't get past Job 1. But okay. probably a couple of weeks ago, I decided I actually want to get through Job um, and start reading it properly. Learn a lot of things. I've been learning a lot of things from it. Um, I'm up to Job chapter 5 at the moment. There was something I read. I was at the bar bar on Saturday and I was just waiting for my turn and I thought I'll just... I'll start reading. And I read a passage in, in, in Job chapter 5. Now, what the crazy part is, before we get to that, in Job chapter 2, more stuff happened to him. Mm. And that's what I never knew. Yeah. So I'm reading, like, oh, what the, more stuff happened to him yeah, where, yeah. where God said, do whatever you want, just don't take his wife. And then he had balls from head to toe. And then his mates came and they were crying with him for like seven days. And, and they were complaining that, and all that sort of stuff. I wanted to stop to, reading again. Bro, they were trying to say to him, what did you do wrong? Like, yeah. figure it out. I, I read Job's story like two, three, four times during the whole car accident experience because obviously like, it's the story to go to for that type of situation in your life mate changed my outlook that's for sure mm. so yeah, crazy you get to five so i'm in job chapter five and i read more of a promise it was just more of a promise uh reading from job uh verse eight to eleven or ten and mm -hmm. then there was verse 17 which i want to focus on so he's like i would seek unto god and unto god would i commit my cause uh which do with great things and unsearchable marvelous things without number who giveth rain upon the earth and sendeth waters upon the fields, uh, to set up on high those that below, that those which mourn may be exalted to safety. And then I skip to verse 17, which is the main focus, is the main verse. He says, Behold, happy is the man whom God correcteth. Therefore despise not thou the chastening of the Almighty. Hmm. This is coming from Job. No, this is coming from Eliphaz. Sorry, Eliphaz. His mate. Where's yeah. questioning Job, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Where... At this point, Job has been through hell. Chapter one is hell. And then chapter two, when he went through, had the boys head to toe, um, and his wife said, are you not going to curse God? And he's like, um, and he says to his, uh, he says, well, that speaker is one of the foolish women speaketh. Where he says like, yo, you're foolish as if you're saying that. But then in chapter five, he like, he, it's like he's questioning it, but he's also bringing it back to the point. Yeah. Saying, Behold, happy is the man whom God corrected, therefore despise not the other chastening of the Almighty. It's interesting, right? So this guy, <clears throat> the interesting thing with Eliphaz is he's ripping into him, right? He's saying, Job, don't be discouraged. If God's chastening you, like, don't despise that. Welcome mm. it. It's a good thing. But then Job in chapter 6 will rip him back and say, I've done nothing wrong, you know, like, this isn't chastening. But it's such a good principle. Mm. Like, even though it wasn't, the right place, the wrong, it was the wrong place, wrong time. His principle is still phenomenal, bro. <coughs> Happy yeah. is the man whom God correcteth, therefore despise not thou the chastening of the Almighty. So if you've done something wrong, for our terms, you've done something wrong and God's going to correct you for that and punish you for that, no. be happy. Accept it. Like, And I think that's the difference between um, kids and adults is especially in your relationship, your spiritual relationship with Christ, is if you're willing to see the problems that you've made and the, the stuff-ups you've done, and you're willing to work on that, that's what I think determines a man from a boy. Mm. I think that's huge. If, you're, if you get rid of your narcissism and say, listen, I, I stuff up, I did the wrong thing, and God shows you that, and you're willing to actually be repentant and learn from it, that is big. And I think that is a, a really good way to go about your life. Mm. Yeah, for sure. I agree with that. But yeah, that verse really stuck out to me. Uh, Behold, happy is the man whom God corrected. I think it's just a reminder for us mm. to, I think it's just to, to realize, you know, you can't hide anything from God. Mm. I think that's the first thing we've got to yeah, realize. You can't hide point. anything from yeah, God yeah. and he's seeing everything you're doing. So like, there's no sidestepping it. So if you've done wrong, if, you need to be corrected. You know that you need, you need to sacrifice it to Christ. And like you said, you have to be happy about it. Despite not the chasing, um, therefore despite not the chasing of the Almighty. Because at the end of the day, God's there to correct you. He's not, not going to send you to hell. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's a great point. I think, and it was just so important. It's a basic principle, but I thought it was just really important, especially when um, Eliphaz is questioning Job at this particular point in time. But I don't know, it just really stuck out to me. And I was like, man, this is, this is crazy. Like, even though Job has stuck with Christ the whole time, stuck with God. And then in chapter two, copped it again. His wife asked him, what are you doing? He's like, you speak of a foolish woman. And if I was saying, to, it's like basically saying to Job, don't get ahead of yourself. Yeah. 
you've made some you've made some gun decisions. You've you've you know leave it all to God. Great, keep at that. Don't wither away from that. And I think yeah. it was just important that I read from verse seventeen. It kind of encapsulated that. it. No, hundred percent. I think that's really good, man. And I think we need to be very aware of the decisions we make, whether they're good or bad, and learn from them. Mm. Especially if the Lord's trying to show us something, learn from that, bro. When you get to chapter nineteen, give me a call. Very keen to see what you think there. Nineteen. Yeah. Yeah, because there's a couple of verses there that really blew me away. Right. Um, yeah, Job 19. Well, that was good, bro. Yeah, just a simple verse of the week. Just yeah, going through Job at the moment. Really enjoying it. Yeah, it's good, man. That's really mad. enjoying it. So, yeah, I've been loving it. Um, yeah. Oh, actually, honestly, like I said before, I was reading chapter two. I'm like, I don't want to get past chapter two now. Like, it was just, it's, it's a rough story. Yeah, it's a rough but story, it's a, but it's, the, the lessons you learn are Yeah, nuts. it's a good one, man. This you learn are nuts. Alrighty. That's, that's it. Yeah. That's another one, mate. That's Done another and one, dusted. bro. That's a Bro, subscribe, ladies and gents. Subscribe to the channel. Do all that. Mm. You know, we're everywhere. Please. Thank you. Yeah, it's a bit of a plea there. Just let yeah. it grow organically, bro. It is growing organically. I'm not doing nothing. Just asking for a subscription. Like, just click that button. Click the bell. Click a like. That's sort of stuff. Beautiful. All yeah. right. Well, all right. Continue on controlling everything. I'm not ending it with music, bro. No, nah, you have to, bro. I'm, I'm in control. No, no. My, my OCD will go nuts, bro. Please just press the button. Can I press a different button? Yeah, if you want. Does it have to be that shitty music? It does, but... Stuff it. I'm not pressing the music. Please. Nah, it's even the worst. Lord have mercy. Let's go right... We're now, we're now ending okay, this. Okay, yeah, no, that... We're ending this the right way. Ladies right, guys. And gents, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Sure, heck. I'll see you soon, mate. And um, peace out. Let's do it.